Fair Oaks. Um, we haul bulk milk from local farms um, in trailer fulls down to uh, several processing facilities in different states. Uh, we go into Michigan. We do some in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, we, we also travel into Kentucky and uh, Tennessee. Uh, we haul roughly 55 loads a day into those facilities, um, utilizing roughly 44 trucks uh, total, uh, the vast majority of which are CNG powered trucks. They basically run 24-7 except when they're down for service. Uh, they're on a, a pretty severe duty cycle here. In a 24-hour period, we'll have a driver come in and do, on average, a 12 to 14-hour shift, sometimes less on a good day. He'll come back, drop the truck, and then a second driver will take it for another, you know, 10 to 12-hour shift. CNG engines have proven to be uh, very durable and reliable in, in what I would consider to be almost an extreme duty cycle or operational environment. We do not have some of the ongoing exhaust type issues that, that some diesel powered units have. Downtime has not only been competitive, but has been probably better than some experiences with some other powered fleets. Most of the engines before, uh, before they were refurbished were close to a million miles. Every unit we're operating now um, in total, of course some have been rebuilt, but they have, they have, they have a million miles plus uh, on all the chassis, so a, a lot of miles there. Trucks run between 600 and 650 miles per day each. So uh, they're staying very busy. Obviously on a dairy farm, you know, there, there's a waste product from cows and that waste product is then transported into and, and fed through an anaerobic digester that produces methane gas. That gas is then fed to the utility and pumped through the station into our trucks. So they're taking a waste product and turning it into something that can actually move their product to market kind of a full circle, a renewable operation that that's obviously has advantages for everyone. The performance of the CNG engine has been, uh, uh, from a drivability and roadability factor, um, is equivalent to a, to a diesel equivalent. Operationally, they pull very well, they operate very much like any other truck. From a drivability standpoint, we find that um, our drivers actually prefer uh, these units to, to other um, options out there. Merging onto traffic when we're hauling 52,500 pounds of milk onto a busy highway, I'm able to get up to highway speed or near to it, a 45 to 55 mile an hour range, and the same as any diesel that we have in our fleet. And these diesels are our backup vehicles. And even when we're pulling hills, we're not dropping any more gears, we're not losing any more power. They are comparable in every way, in my opinion, to diesel. You take care of them, proper trip inspections, and they'll do, get the job done. Drivers are operating actually a very clean engine. Diesel, as we know, is, is wet and uh, dirty, and um, you know, if you spill it, um, you, know, you get that on you, and, and uh, from, a, from a driver's standpoint, it kind of stays with you throughout the day. Uh, the CNG, um, if there's a little leakage or, or whatever, um, it dissipates very quickly. You don't go home smelling like a CNG. The fueling process for CNG is different than that for fueling a diesel truck. And when you institute that sort of change, there are growing pains to any operation. And when you have experienced drivers who are used to a certain thing for decades, have to adapt to something new, of course there's questions about how is that going to work? How is the fueling process? Is it safe? What kind of safeguards are in place? What's going to happen if I get in an accident? All these different things that needed to be addressed, and of course have been over time, those fears have proven to be you know, unfounded for the most part. So just an education and awareness of, of the new process and, and items. It is a sense of pride. I like that I'm running a newer technology, cleaner equipment. There is the environmental edge to it. And if it's a feasible, viable solution to a diesel engine, and it works well with our type of dedicated day-to-day -day operation, I think there's a definite business advantages to it.